What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This plugin is from Pixel Film Studios and it is called just the energy uh, plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. If I were to push play, you guys will see what I created here. Now this video here that I'm using is from Wotions Media. I will have their video linked down in the description as well as their YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe to them. They make amazing content. Be sure to use my coupon code KingPixelPro to get a nice discount. Also guys, be sure to check out Pixel Film Studios on YouTube. I'll have their link down in the description of this video where they go into different types of topics as well as some really comprehensive video tutorials for Final Cut Pro 10. Go onto their playlist where they have different types of giveaways, quick tips, stuff like that, and as well as plugins, as you may already know. So link will be down in the description. So again, be sure to check out Pixel Film Studios on YouTube. But anyways, this is what I created with the plugin. As you can see, I added a tie with the overlay and you have some really cool glitch popping effects there and literally there's you just drag and drop and just change some of the settings and you're done and that's really really cool about this uh, plugin all you got to do is go into the titles and generators and you're going to go on to titles right over here next to the down arrow and you will click that and you will have the pixel film studios final cut pro 10 energy and there's over 200 uh, different types of uh, title overlays that you can add on your video whether you're going to be doing it for tiktok for instagram facebook twitter <laughs> if you really wanted to um, youtube of course vimeo and so on what i'm going to do first is add some text so i'm going to go over some of the things here uh, really quickly i'm not going to go through everything so the first one we have is bars and we have drop zone where you can replace it with a logo or a picture or a video. I think this will, I think the purpose of this would be to use a transparent image like a logo in this case and I'll show you that in just a second. But you would use this one and you would just drag it on top of your clip and you will have this of course you would change the logo but um, yeah full screen and if you do full screen this will affect the entire clip. So if I would push play you will have this really cool effect going on and um, it looks really cool, especially over here, you can change some of the settings and the colors. So I'm gonna go into the filter first. So I'm gonna go into filter 10. If I click and drag it and just move it to where I want this to start, I'm gonna move it there. So it's gonna look like that. And it looks really good. And maybe I want it to stop right before it goes into this scene. So just go to the end and drag this towards the end here before it goes to that clip. Uh, once you are done there, I'm going to do the little drop zone with the logo. So I think that one is the displacement and I think it's the drop zone. So if I drag this above it, it will look kind of like this. And I of course want to trim this to the end here. Maybe make this a little longer actually. Just why not, right? So I'll push play, it's gonna look like this. And what I wanna do is I wanna change this logo right there. So I'm gonna select the drop zone. Now just keep in mind, if you drag the drop zone below a filter, it's going to overlay that on top. So make sure that all the shapes and text is above any filter overlays. They appear above and they're not uh, changing colors. So I'm gonna select the drop zone. I'm gonna go into the inspector window. I've already imported their logo in a PNG format here. Um, so of course this is their logo, not mine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the drop zone. I'm gonna scroll down and go to the drop zone. Just click this and select it here. Make sure it's the, there we go. And I'm gonna click on apply clip. So now it looks like this, it kind of stretches and, and pulls and just does some crazy stuff, makes it really dynamic. So uh, what I wanna do is I wanna change the color. So I'm gonna select the drop zone again. And here you have a bunch of settings that you can change. You have on-screen controls. So you can actually move these pieces if you want. Um, you can rotate them and you can also make them bigger or smaller and you can change the position here in uh, if you want to be very exact and also add some keyframes. Uh, if I go down, you have the camera controls, so you can change the X rotation and you can change the Y rotation if you want. Uh, we have the style controls, so um, if you go to the style controls, you can change the object blend mode, so you can do like overlay and this will change the appearance or the color depending on what you've overlaid. I'm gonna go back to, I think it was, if I reset that to vivid lights, I'm gonna change the remap white too because the logo is white the original logo is white. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to just, I'm gonna make it just stay white for this case. And I'm gonna leave that there. But if you have black in your logo, you can change that to a different color. So you can do like, so if you have black and red in your logo, you can change 
the black to maybe a different color like green or something. Uh, you have animation controls, so you can change the scale amount. So if we increase that, it's kind of it's going to kind of zoom in a little bit, but you have to add some keyframes in order for that to work. So if I were to move the playhead here and add a keyframe and go to the end and increase it a lot. It's going to kind of zoom up a little bit. As you can see, it's already zooming up, but I don't like that effect. And you have the noisiness here and you have random seeds, so you can randomize this. So you can choose which one you think looks the best. Most of these settings are relatively the same. Most of the settings are relatively the same. So if I were to go back and go into the titles and select a different one, in this case, I'm going to go for the uh, electric text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and just find one. So we have like shape, rotate here. These are pretty cool too. Um, if I were to drag this, put it over, it's going to look like this. Pretty neat. I'm, I really like that. I'm going to actually leave that. So I'm going to trim the end and delete it. Uh, we have filters. We've already added that. I, wanna, I don't want to get too crazy with the <laughs> with the actual plugin. We have flash, and this is the one of my favorite ones here. So you can do this for again. They're relatively the same. So if I were to go to a different category, we have flicker, and we also have a drop zone here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the full screen. I'm going to select it and drag it right where this next scene appears. And literally, I just click and drag. And if I push play, you're going to see that it's automatically selecting. I think it's maybe selecting the whitest areas, as you can see. So if we were to do that, it will affect the brighter areas in, in your video clip. So we're gonna trim that to this piece here, and it looks pretty good to me, maybe uh, right there. Perfect, and if I were to select the clip and go into the inspector window, again, you have very similar controls. Certain actual titles, or overlays, I suppose, will have Luma layer controls to adjust the lighting if you're, uh, the title that you dragged onto your clip has that setting. So you can do invert, you can create a different effect. I don't like that, I'm just leaving it how it is. You can change the Luma roll off, so you can drag it to the left or drag it to the right, and you can remap black too. So again, you can change the colors here. So remap white too, so you can change this color to like red. And now if I were to go back and push play, it'll look like this, super, super neat, and it kind of matches the beginning here. So, but anyways, we have prism amount, so this will add like a RGB split effect. So in order to, for this to work, you'd have to increase the prism amount, and then go into prism opacity and just increase that, and you can see that we're, we now have like this RGB red, green, blue effect going on. But anyways, we have the exposure, so we can make this a lot brighter, or a lot uh, more subtle if we wanted to. So we're gonna leave it how it is. And again, you can change those in your own time. So uh, that's gonna be the full screen one for the, um, if I were to exit this, for the flash. And again, you can do text and shapes. You can do, if I were to drag it here, you can do something like this and change the text. And um, you can do text replicator. So if I were to drag that here and push play, you have this going on. So you have glitch, we have text. We can do this one. So if I drag that there and push play, you have that there. Very, very cool. And to change the text, you would just go over to, let me trim this first and delete that. Select the overlay and go into the settings. And you have, again, on-screen controls, very similar. But right here we have text control. So we'd select that, highlight it, and change the text to something else like uh, subscribe. And if the text is too big, it's very simple. All you gotta do is go to the overall scale and make sure we're like right here. And we can make this smaller, or you can do it on here as well. And to reposition this, you can click and drag this anywhere on the screen. I'm going to reset that though. So I think that looks pretty good. And we can add a prism amount, so we can add that RGB effect, so we can increase it. And then where it says prism opacity, if we drag that, you can see that the edges are now have that RGB effect. And then we have the urban overlays. So these would be more used as the background. So if I were to drag this and move it below our text, it will look kind of like that. If I were to delete that one, maybe go for a darker one, our text, but below it. Yeah, look, that looks kind of cool. So if I were to do that and then trim the end and delete it, select the overlay and go into the gradient here. So if I were to move the, uh, or click on the arrow, and then now if we select one edge, and we can change that color to a different one. So we can change the color of that. So maybe we can change this to a, a different color. So you can do green or more of a blue color. So we can change the scale of the shapes, by the way. So we can make those bigger or make those smaller. So if I were to go back and push play, it looks something like that. And they're moving, of course. You can change the animation, change the distance, the speed, and get a different result. 
So that's pretty much the effects. A really, really interesting and unique plugin from Pixel Film Studio. So absolutely love this plugin. So again, King Pixel Pro. I'll have that link down in the description for you guys to use at checkout. And uh, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.